Welcome back to my channel and today I'd like to show you one of my favorite collection. This is Leica. <laughs> Um, Leica to most of the photographer, uh, at least to me, is like a Rolls Royce standard in uh, photography. All right, this Leica is Leica X2. It's actually about ten years old camera. Um, when I purchased at the time, I didn't know it come with such a luxury packaging. Let me show you. Open up here. This is the camera box itself. See, you can un unattach it. You have this camera, come with a very nice leather. Of course, this is already 10 years old. There's a lot of scratches here and there, but it doesn't affect the uh, camera quality. Let me put it back. Well, here is a magnetic uh, box. You open up, put it down. There's even two drawers, you know, for you to put all the necessary accessories or in this drawer it's like those luxury watch you know, that we ever purchase all right let's put aside this i will also show you um, the uh, viewfinder that i purchased as well because um, this camera lcd screen under the bright sun it would be very difficult for us to look at the uh, image so we will need some help by actually getting either the electronic viewfinder or the optical viewfinder. So this one actually comes with the purchase from the seller. This is a Leica EBF2. Leica EBF2. So this is an electronic viewfinder. And of course I heard um, there's another version Olympus. It's almost, it's actually the same, just that it's different branding. All right. Then I also purchased this from eBay. This is a uh, optical viewfinder. But this Leica X2 is actually 36mm and the closest we can find is 35mm. All right. Then I also get it from Taobao, a cheaper version, very plasticky version of uh, 35mm as well. So I think this is more like a decoration you know, instead of uh, for real usage. This package also comes with extra purchase. Uh, actually, it's actually from the original seller, a yellow. A yellow uh, casing. All right, now let me show you this very unique uh, Leica X2. Uh, I already got it for about two weeks and I brought it to the recent trip to Shangri La, Yunnan, and uh, managed to get some very nice shots. So, you see this pouch here, it's actually attached to the bottom of the camera and two sides. So when you open up, ta-da! This is a black color Leica X2. So, open up the cap. Perfect. Hand grip. But some say that because um, the uh, camera is a bit small and they put extra handle over here, but I think it's just nice for me though. Yeah, I can grab it in this way. It's just a matter of getting used to it. Okay, I'm going to take out this hot shoe here. And there's an adapt adapter area here. I'm going to put this one. This is the original um, Leica EBF2. Okay, I'm going to take out the protector. And I'm going to show you the way to attach this. So first of all, you have to align, align here to the hot shoe area. So the bottom part will actually attach it together. 
and yep that's it and this view finder is very cool way you can open up and you can view in this way all right now uh, let's put this back see turn on the camera and there's a button over here when you press the screen will switch back to the original sc LCD screen and you press once it actually will open up in the viewfinder let me show you what is inside hope you can see this yeah so you can have all the informations uh, under this electronic viewfinder okay let's turn it off and take this out put back the con this protector it's easily to misplace it so make sure you put it back every time you use now let me show you this one I got it from eBay this is a 35 mm focal length and the Leica X2 is actually a 36 mm but this is the closest that I can get or in, in fact available in the market so let's put it in looks cool right okay let's see from here yep Okay, well, sometimes I think it's a bit big. Okay, let me try on another one. This is another uh, optical viewfinder that I get it from uh, Taobao. Everything is plastic, I think, plastic material. Let me put it back, put it in here. Hmm. So for those who don't like circle, this is a square version. Okay, let me show you. Yeah. The optic quality is not as good as the other one. But you know, sometimes it's just for decoration purpose, right? So which one do you prefer? The square one? The uh, electronic viewfinder? Or this fish eye type let me know in the comment now let's look at the uh, camera itself you know I always have this issue whenever I turn it on let's see uh, I will straight away turn it all the way to C you know. it's a bit hard for me to actually just turn to single so probably um, this is the only thing I I, I like to complain about all right now turn it to s let's look at the overall itself here this is the uh, battery compartment so once i actually put on this uh, protector it's a bit hard for me to pull out the sd card you know if you have a bigger finger my finger is going to be small but it's sometimes a bit hard for me to pull out as well yeah and here is for the battery um, I heard this is a common issues on this battery spring here loosen so far this unit is still okay and push it back by the way um, the battery durability is quite good you now I shoot for whole days and uh, it still have about more than half a bar of the battery itself now let's talk about this uh, Leica Outlook and of course I just mentioned right the uh, turn in and uh, on and off see I have to be very slow very gentle oh yeah about this see uh, I heard this is actually a very common uh, issues about this camera that 
uh, it actually have this inner uh, clock battery, you know, uh, and most of it actually have issues. Once you take out the battery, the clock have to reset again each time. It's a bit troublesome, but uh, it's just a couple of minutes kind of thing. Uh, let me set it back first. All right, now I have set the time. Of course, you don't need to take out the battery each time, so uh, it's still okay to be though. And um, yeah, this is the uh, shutter speed. I uh, put it to auto because I want to do it like a uh, aperture priority. So I always set either 2.8, you know, or f5.6, f4, and then um, the Aperture, uh, sorry, the shutter speed, I always put into auto. Now, this is actually the flash. So you can actually press here and it turn on. You pull up. See. Yep. Okay. So when you want to put it back, just push. Perfect. Okay. Then uh, let us go through this. Leica camera Germany. Uh, okay, you have a Leica logo here. This is the uh, EV because now I'm under aperture priority, so I can set the uh, EV here, right? And then this is for the timer, this is for the flash. You have all these options here. I choose as auto or red eye. And here is manual focus or autofocus. You know, sometimes I bit, get a bit confused actually which one is the highlighted one. <laughs> anyway. Alright, then you can put press on play. Yeah, I already forward. These are some of the image that I captured yesterday directly from the camera. Okay, this is the delete and a focus button. So you can have one point, 11 point, sports or face detection. So if you choose one point here, and this is not a touch screen, okay? So what you do is that you press here for one second, then yeah. You can use all this button here, up, down, left, right, to move your cursor away and do the focusing. Okay. Yeah, white balance. Uh, most of the time I put it to daylight. ISO. You can have auto ISO, ISO 100, all the way to 6004. Uh, bear in mind, this is a 10 years old camera. So the maximum so far I put is up to 3002 on the usable side. And then this is the uh, camera info. You can have the grid line. Okay, let's look at this menu here. So the resolution itself is always, I put it to maximum 16 Mac. Um, DJ, DNG file and JPEG. Why DNG file and JPEG? Because um, sometimes I switch it to black and white photography. So if I shoot black and white, that means the JPEG will be in black and white and the G DNG file will be the original color. Okay, auto ISO setting. Sorry, now as you see. So you press on the menu and if you want to confirm this menu, you have to go to here. And then you can have the slower shutter speed, 1 over 30. And maximum ISO, I put it to 3200. So the metering mode. So you have three different metering mode. I use the center one here. And then continuous, you can have high and low continuous shots. Uh, AF assist lamp, I put it off because um, I want it to be uh, as discreet as possible, especially come to street photography. So I actually put the AF assist lamp off. Uh, manual assist turn on. Stabilization, of course, is on. Preset uh, for color, I set it to vivid. So you have standard, vivid, natural, black and white, natural, high contrast, black and white. 
So uh, for color version, I put it to Vivid. Sharpening, um, this one actually come with the Vivid preset. So it's medium high, saturation standard, contrast medium high, optical viewfinder, on and off. Fresh sync at the end of the exposure, so this is a second sync. Monitor brightness, trust me, whatever you put, it's the same, you know, under the hot sun, you won't be able to see a thing. And it's, you, you can't trust the LCD screen itself on the accuracy. So uh, EVF brightness is standard. Monitor color adjustment. See, this is the monitor color adjustment, but I didn't use this. EVF color adjustment, no. Play on monitor on off. Uh, the histogram, play histogram, reset imaging number, auto review, uh, auto review the duration and histogram, auto power off, auto LCD screen off, and color space. I put it to sRGB, date, today's date. Um, yeah, shutter volume. As I say, I need it to be as discreet as possible, so I put it to off as well. Uh, acoustic signal, key volume, key click. SD card with full all this, I put it to off. So I off all this. Language English. Let me see. I also didn't know what language they have. Yeah, they have Dutch, French, Italian, Japanese, Chinese. Okay. Auto rotate display, yes, on. HDMI, protect, copyright, format, firm version, user profile. You see, uh, here, this is my user profile that I set for profile one. So profile two is actually black and white. So sometimes when I'm shooting something and I want it to change to black and white, so what I do is that I click on the menu here, straight away change it to profile two. Now this is black and white. So bear in mind what I shoot is DNG and the JPEG. So the JPEG will be in black and white, but the DNG file will be in color. So sometimes if I find something more interesting and I want to show the uh, abstract side of it, I will turn it to black and white. Yeah, the nice Leica logo. You know, um, honestly, this is a very nice camera, uh, the use unit, almost scratchless, except for, I think, one little tiny shots here. Yeah, but I'm glad that I own this Leica X2. Yeah, this is a bit troublesome. I actually tried to get another um, holder, but it doesn't work for me. So, yep. Welcome to the family, Leica X2. Um, I'm going to show you some of the image later on that I capture by using this Leica in my uh, recent trip in uh, Yunnan, China. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.